I can't believe for a fourth day in a row, I have to talk about the Frost Cure and Meltdown again, but it seems like it's only getting worse at this point. At first, she simply went on a live stream and had a complete meltdown attacking gamers. Then her and Adam Sessler blew up at upset fans and made more posts on social media about the situation, and now, of course, game journalists and other G4 hosts are putting their opinions into the world, defending her, praising her for being stunning and brave for speaking out against sexism in gaming, and I really wanted to show off just a couple of the articles to highlight how terrible the state of games journalism currently is. But before we get into the topic at hand, if you enjoy the content that I create, please make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. Follow me on social media like Twitter or mine so that you can see when my content is posted. And of course, if you do really enjoy the videos and the live streams that I create, please consider becoming a Dark Titan via Patreon for just a dollar a month or supporting via YouTube memberships. All of the links are in the description description, and of course, I do really appreciate all of the support. So I've talked about the Frost Kieran situation in a couple of different videos now. They will all be linked down below in the description in case you want to go and watch my other rants on it. But she basically went onto a live stream and blew up at gamers, saying gamers are sexist, saying the gaming industry has so much sexism in it, um, that women are treated like objects, and people need to just be better going into 2022. And here is one of the first articles written about the situation. It says G4 host Frost Kieran takes a stand against sexist viewers objectifying women. Now, one of the main problems I had with Frost Kieran's rant is that it felt very heated. It felt very emotional. It's like she went into it trying to make a point, trying to get everyone to really listen to her words. Yet at the same time, she didn't provide any evidence, she didn't provide any statistics, she basically went into it saying, there's this big problem in the industry and you should believe it's happening because I said so. They didn't really provide any sort of evidence that this is actually some giant issue in the gaming industry. But of course, game journalists are running with it because if she's saying it's a problem, oh, that's all that they need to push the narratives they want to push. We all know game journalists hate the gaming industry. They don't actually care about making it better. So when something like this happens, they're going to run with it instead of provide a different opinion on the situation. Uh, Dexerto's article says current G4 host and former League of Legends caster Frost Kieran has taken a stand against sexist viewers objectifying herself and other female hosts, saying the comments they receive are dehumanizing and weird. Here's another article from GamePer. It says G4 host Frost Kieran calls out sexist behaviors of X Play's audience. And the problem is, is that she's not even just talking about about X play saying, oh, X plays audience is a problem. She's basically talking about every gamer, that the gaming industry in general has a sexism problem. This article, though, says some hosts of the brand new G4 reboot are dealing with some of the same old problems they faced a decade ago, namely misogyny. New X-Play co-host and former esports commentator uh, Frost Kieran has called out the sexist behaviors of the show's audience. I hate articles like this because they're saying, oh, there's just some of the same old problems happening in the industry, namely misogyny. Do they bring up any situations from 10 years ago regarding misogyny? No, of course not. They're just saying, oh, this happened in the past, but we're not going to explain to you a couple of the situations. It says, though, during the gaming grievances segment of an episode of X-Play that streamed, she lamented the backlash and harassment that she has faced since joining G4. She, she specifically noted the men in the audience for saying she's not as sexually appealing as the hosts of the original channel in reference to Morgan Webb and Olivia Munn. A lot of people were pretty 
excited about G4's return to the internet, G4's reboot, a lot of people were hoping that they'd come back and create the same old content that they used to, but a lot of the people rebooting it, like Adam Sessler, are woke now. They don't actually care about providing people quality entertainment. They care about pushing their own narratives, pushing their own agendas into entertainment that they're creating, and that's all that they really wanted to do with this G4 reboot. They didn't actually care about going into it making the content people wanted to see and when it comes to people like morgan webb olivia munn a lot of people really liked those hosts they wanted them back and frost kieran is allowed to be upset that people do not like her as much as the other hosts but it's true uh, a lot of people preferred Olivia Munn, Morgan Webb, and miss them, wish that those hosts would come back. There was actually a rumor circulating around the internet a few years ago that said Olivia Munn was thinking about coming back to G4's reboot, but I bet that she's glad she didn't at this point. It says, though, G4 shared the clip of Frost Kieran's rant on their Twitter page, commenting on their solidarity for her and other women in gaming. This is a giant problem with this rant. They didn't have multiple women on the show with multiple points of view and providing multiple perspectives. No, no. They only provided Frost Kieran's opinion on the gaming industry, and they didn't allow any other women to have voices and voice their thoughts on the industry in general. If you actually wanted to have a segment like this, have people believe it, have people feel genuinely moved by it, you should have had multiple different people on the show, because she, I'm gonna be honest, she sounded like a Karen in this rant. She was yelling at the Karen camera calling people sexist saying your unconscious biases are ruining my day it didn't come across well at all whatsoever so the next article is by oneesports.gg and it says women do not exist to be nice on the eyes for you preach and instead of bringing up issues that are happening in the gaming industry. No, no. They decide to bring up the fact that Frost Kieran is an LGBTQ advocate. She has been outspoken about various cultural and social issues present in the gaming community on social media. And that's great that Frost Kieran is an LGBTQ plus advocate. Don't get me wrong. I think that that's great of her. If that's what she wants to do, good for you. Go for it. But this doesn't mean her argument is any more valid than someone else's. Of course, Kotaku decided to put out an article. G4 host slams X-Play audience's sexist expectations. She laid waste to gamer sexism on yesterday's X-Play stream. These journalists are just a bunch of clowns that are pissed off that people would rather watch streamers like me on YouTube and Twitch than read their junk articles. It seems like they don't even care about what we think of their work. They're just looking to get clicks on their posts so they'll do anything they can to get those clicks, especially if they know it'll piss off the majority of gamers. If it does that and it makes us click the article, then they win because they get that view and that revenue and unfortunately it's what they've regretted to doing. Instead of defending gamers and trying to see both sides of the story, no, no, they're just talking about how uh, this host laid waste to gamers. It's absolutely disgusting. I wish I could say I was surprised by the situation, but I'm not. I've talked about Frost Kieran on this channel a couple of times. Every year, she goes on rants about the gaming industry. Last year, she talked about how the esports scene was too white and it was blindingly white. This year, she's talking about sexism. We should create a Frost Kieran bingo card to see what she's going to rant about next year. But that's all that I really had to discuss in this video. Let everyone know your thoughts in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed this video please make sure to give it a like share it and subscribe to the channel and of course if you didn't make sure to give it a dislike i appreciate your support either way but i will talk to you all again in the next video really soon